Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The modern battlefield is characterized by asymmetric warfare and low intensity conflicts which require effective electronic warfare measures to degrade the capabilities of electronic warfare systems of the adversaries. This is where Indian Air Force is in need of new indigenous airborne standoff jammer ASOJ which will have electronic attack capability based on the ESM inputs received from various sources. Indian Air Force has recently released the details of the ASOJ which it will be developing with private firms for its transport aircraft to provide enhanced capability to degrade or suppress the enemy's potential. It will also aid fighter jets to penetrate the dense air defense network of enemy which may consist of air defense radars and SAM systems and perform set or dead missions along with other fighter jets. An ASOJ would protect the attack aircraft from detection by enemy search, acquisition and tracking radar systems. Since the requirement is to mount it on transport aircraft, the ASOJ is expected to be much more powerful than what is used on normal fighter jets. As per the proposal, the Indian Air Force intends to partner with indigenous defense production industry to undertake design, development and manufacture of airborne standoff jammer under Make 1 category as per DAP 2020 which will be government funded. Now, as per the design laid by Air Force, the jammer would be able to effectively counter the existing and futuristic search, acquisition radars and missile fire control radars used by the adversaries. The system would be adequate sensitive to pick up, identify and jam low power hostile radars effectively from a range of approximately 400 km. With the massive range of 400 km, this ASOJ will be able to even jam the radars of S-400 surface-to-air missile system. The jammer will have high instantaneous bandwidth in reception as well as jamming. It will be able to handle multiple ground-based and airborne radar threats simultaneously. The ASOJ will have high good DF accuracy for selectable and steerable AESA-based narrow beam jamming. It will have 360-degree azimuth jamming coverage with selectable sector jamming through electronically steerable jamming beams. It will also have indiscriminate mode of jamming which can generate smart jamming techniques without any trigger from hostile emitters. The ASOJ should be adaptable to all existing transport aircraft platforms of Indian Air Force like Avro and C295 with minimum modification on the aircraft. It will also have self-sufficient cooling subsystem independent of the mother aircraft and minimum requirement of coolant replenishment by the operations. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.